Hi everyone, this is a video version of a similar one I published uh, some time ago in Spanish explaining how to fix a leaking um, ball valve because uh, I've experienced that this kind of ball, a volleyball ball, has um, the same problem uh, very often. So I'm going to explain it this time in English and I hope this works for you. So the materials you need are simple, a pump, some lubricant, water-based lubricant, a pair of scissors, uh, the ball of course, and a little inner uh, tube from a bicycle, a little section, sorry, of an inner tube from a bicycle. It's made of this, it's this, this dark rubber that you can see. And the one I, ha I am removing, I'm doing that because after re-pumping the ball a few times, uh, it started to leak again. So I'm going to repair it once again. So what you need to do is cut a little section from the inner tube first, uh, from the bike, uh, and then cut an even smaller section that is going to fit into the valve itself. So what you need to take into consideration uh, at this point is to cut it uh, not so wide. It has to be narrow enough so it goes into the valve. Remember that the valve is very narrow itself and even though we need, we are going to use the lubricant, we need it to go in very easily. And don't cut it too narrow so it, it, it breaks when you push it inside. So you just see that uh, it has more or less the same width as the hole in the valve. You can see the shape. And now we need to apply some um, lubricant to the pump, to the rubber strip and to the valve so that uh, everything goes in smooth and easy and the strip doesn't uh, break when you pull it, push it inside. So I'm, us I'm using water-based lubricant. Um, you can buy it very easily and it's very cheap but someone in um, my video in Spanish mentioned that this person achieved the same result uh, using uh, water and soap. So that's even cheaper, you don't need to buy anything special. But the, um, uh, it's important that any lubricant you use is water-based because you want it to dry after a few minutes. If you use an oil-based one, uh, it will become very sticky uh, and also you have the risk of having the rubber coming out again more easily. But if you use a water-based one, it will dry and it will stay inside. So now it's time to push it inside. You want to do it uh, slow and easy so that uh, the strip doesn't break or get punctured when you are pushing it. So you just be patient. have to try a few times perhaps you can try this with any type of ball I'm using this ball but I'm sure this happens to many other different types of balls and some people many people have tried it and they have told me that it works for them it's almost ready I just I just needed to push it inside a little bit more and now the air is going in very easily you just um, use the right amount of pressure for you. Now it's almost ready. And once uh, it has the desired pressure, you pull out the pump very slowly. And now we need to check if there's no air leaking from the valve. And we are going to do that very easily uh, by using some water. Okay, as you can see, there is a little bit of extra uh, rubber strip coming out. I'll just remove it because, not because it bothers you or hurts you, but because some people are curious and they say, oh, what's this all about? And they uh, 
uh, grab it or pull, or pull from it and the ball mm, deflates very quickly if they remove it and this has happened to me before especially, especially with children so now I'm applying the water and you can see I'm checking that there is no air leaking so this is uh, it uh, this is a very easy fix I hope this works for you and uh, that you have a lot of fun with uh, those balls that start leaking air and are still very new and ready to be used. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.